I'm the last speaker. You must be getting ready to go and get some lunch. Um, it's fantastic to see you all. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I, I, I've got a bit of unusual background. Can we have hands up everyone who's married? Hands up all the married ones. Right, so the rest of you are single. You're going to need to pay attention to this. It's a bit embarrassing saying all the singles put your hands up, get your Tinder out. So I just thought I'd check that out from this perspective here. Much safer, much safer. Anyway, as, as Herb said, I run a technology company, but I didn't always run a technology company. I um, started life as a mechanical engineer, and then I worked for a technology company, and we grew from about 35 people to about 200 people in less than two years. And this caused us massive problems. We had really skilled teams. We had tribologists, we had dynamicists, and some of them worked well together, and some of them didn't. So the company paid an awful lot of money for me to learn a lot about occupational psychology so I could put these people back together again and make them work as teams. And at the end of that, they used to call me the white witch because I could look at someone and I could read them like a book. And the men hated it. And they got really good at telling who was lying, literally. Even if they weren't lying, they'd be like this because they think, she knows I'm lying and I'm not lying anymore. So when I left there, I thought, what am I going to do? What am I really good at? Well, I could talk a glass eye to sleep and I can flirt for Britain. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to be a flirting expert. <laughs> As you do. So the jobs that you guys are doing today, probably a lot of them won't exist in 10 years' time. And you need to have a little think. Talking back to Alfie's moving gears and changing lanes, you need to think about what are you going to be doing in 10 years' time. So I spent 10 years working as a flirting expert. How cool is that? We've got some, a little lad in the front row there. That's you. Are you looking terrified now? Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to pick on you. So it doesn't matter, though, whether you are networking, whether you are presenting, whether you are selling to someone, or whether you're trying to seduce someone. You use exactly the same skills to a greater or lesser degree. I want to share with you what some of those skills are. Now, this is going to require some audience participation, and you are the audience, so that means you're going to have to participate, okay? So we're going to start off with the very, very, very first rule of flirting, which is eye contact, okay? Really easy. The lady there has just moved her hair the way beautifully thought thank you very much. <laughs> Not picking on you or anything. So we need to be able to look someone in the eye to get their attention. That involves keeping your head up and looking at them. Don't look at them for longer than four seconds. Because if you look at someone for longer than four seconds, you look away, young man. If you look at them for longer than four seconds, you're either about to beat their brains out or leap into bed with them. So think about that carefully. Once we've got the whole eye contact knocked off, we need to be doing an eyebrow flash. An eyebrow flash is a very simple gesture. It's just a quick up, down of the eyebrows. <laughs> How cool is that? Right, audience, all together, eyebrow flash. Beautiful, beautiful. When you eyebrow flash someone, they will instinctively eyebrow flash you back. It doesn't mean anything. It has no sexual connotations. So you don't have to worry about, oh my god, my eyebrows are going to do anything. It's absolutely fine. So first rule of flirting, eye contact. Second one, eyebrow flash. The next thing we want to do is we want to be thinking about how else am I going to engage with this person? Everyone gets really hung up about the chat up line and what you're going to say and everything else. There's so much happens before you even get to the point where you're going to speak to someone. So the next thing we want to do is to think about, well, we've looked, we've flashed, getting a little bit of a smile in. OK? So come on, audience. Everybody smile. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a camera up here. I really do. I was, thank you for that audience. Person. So we've done all this stuff. It's all been non-sexual, it's all been non-intimidatory, we've not moved, and we're already quite along the journey in the terms of flirting. So the next thing we need to do is actually get a bit close to that person. So we need to be looking at proximity. Now, I need a volunteer. Alfie, get on stage, darling. <laughs> Alfie's got, oh, give him a round of applause. Thank you. Right. You can, yeah. Are you looking nervous? Yes, I am. Are you looking, is, that, is that a lasso or look a at, noose? Look at this, yeah, this <laughs> ringing of hands. There you go. Now, poor Alfie, but he said he would volunteer, but he doesn't know what's going on. You won't know what's hit him in a minute. There you are. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show everybody the different zones when it comes to body language. Where are you, Alfie? Uh, here. There, excellent. 
Read your tag. Mm -hmm. uh, public zone, over 3.6 metres. <laughs> so he's in the public zone. It's quite safe there. We can make a bit of eye contact. See, did you see that flash? Did you see it? <laughs> You're oh. a fast learner, aren't you? <laughs> you taught me everything I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got it. He's in his public zone. We've had a bit of eye contact. We've had a flash. We've even had a smile. He's got a little bob going on as well there. <laughs> Do you want to come a little bit closer? No, 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 you've got this all wrong. All right. Pull the rope, pull the rope and come to the next bit. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you now, Alfie? Very close. Social zone, 1.2 metres to 3.6 metres. So, he's definitely in my radar now. He's much closer. Ooh, he's got his little ankles together. He's... I never thought I'd see you this nervous. This is brilliant. <laughs> He's in a social, he's getting very close, but we could sort of talk from here, but really, he needs to be a little bit closer. Come closer, Alfie. <laughs> the personal zone. Yeah, but now he's in my personal zone. He's close enough for a bit of intentional touching. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can see the thought of intentional touching has made him nervous because he instantly moved away <laughs> from the personal zone. He's, try <laughs> He's trying very hard. Get yourself back here. Ew. So, in the personal zone. Are you ready to yes. touch me? Yes. <laughs> Come on, Alfie. <laughs> touch me. Put your cameras away. <laughs> now, what we... <laughs> Hashtag me too. We do not do intentional touching when the other person's not looking. Then you're gonna have to see <laughs> Thankfully, it was just my wrist. Uh, <laughs> intentional touching in the flirting in a business is, is, is well not in the flirting zone, but certainly in a business environment is a handshake. You're really holding that very tight. Do you want to just relax? Really? Relax. Yeah. Relax. So we're gonna do a handshake now. Give me a handshake. Oh, warm and soft. Okay. Warm and soft, yeah. Now, handshake is important because it's the first time you touch someone. Well, it's the second time in your case. And <laughs> it has a long-lasting physiological impact. So it's really important to get it right. Met some of the guys last night from one of the sponsors, Accenture. And the first guy that shook my hand, nice handshake. Second guy that shook my hand, firm but damp. Yeah. <laughs> I had to say to him as he shook my hand, I went, oh, firm but damp. He said, I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> firm but damp, my love. And he said, I don't know what you mean. I said, you need to go at somebody with a dry hand. So we sat there like this. <laughs> and then we shook the hands next to him. And he was like this, trying to get his hand dry before. There are techniques. But that was a very, very, very nice handshake. Would you just like to shake the hands of the people next to you? Just, if you've got a wet one, give it a rub. Give it a rub. <laughs> Excellent. Now, I hope there were some nice, nice handshakes in there. What we don't want is anything that's too limp. We don't, we don't do limp. Wet that. fish. Wet yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. Wet fish. We don't want anything too hard. <laughs> that's not going to work. It's just got to match the intensity of the person that's just touched you. See, that's really nice. Now, we're going to move it up a notch, Alfie. Are you married? Yes, I am. Yes, Are you? I am. Is your wife in? She's not. Ah, come on, then. <laughs> Come uh, to the last zone, Alfie. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Where the are you? The intimate zone. The intimate says, zone. Don't look at my boobs. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Which brings us very nicely to my breast etiquette section. <laughs> You've been pleased to hear, Alfie. I've brought my own props. Excellent. <laughs> very good. Now, in the UK, <laughs> men, women have eyes in the backs of their heads, don't we? Mm. We miss nothing. Men have terrible visions. Per their peripheral vision is really, really tiny like this. So uh, the, the mistake men make, they do one of two things. They start by looking at your face <laughs> and then talking to your boobs. <laughs> or they wait till you're not looking, look at your boobs, <laughs> and always get caught. There is nothing more attractive to a man than color and shape. So a pair of boobs in a red top or something like that is just too much. They cannot help themselves. <laughs> so the technique for dealing with this is you have to embrace the bosoms. <laughs> Go on, Alfie. <laughs> Not 
not literally. <laughs> not literally. You don't come at me like that. Uh, With a compliment, compliment them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh. you're a star. Obviously, you don't say things like you wouldn't get many of them in a bucket. <laughs> and you don't ever refer directly to the breasts themselves. What you need to talk about is the general appearance. Yeah. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. When someone pays you a compliment, what do you always do? You always accept the compliment. It doesn't matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel, you always say, thank you. Thank you is a really easy way to accept a compliment. Now, we've um, done the embracing of boobs. boobs. Yeah. We've done a bit of intentional touching. We now need to think about what's going on with our breath, because we're, gonna, we're about to get a bit closer. <laughs> 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 now, audience participation again. I'd like you to all roll up your sleeve a little bit. That's it. Now, what you need to do is lick the inside of your wrist, <laughs> wave it around a bit, put it under the nose of the person next to you. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> When that dries, that's what your breath is going to smell like later. So just be conscious of that. That when you're getting very close to somebody, you need to be aware of what your breath smells like. Because depending on your age, younger people have a much more heightened sense of smell. Women have a much more heightened sense of smell. So if you're an older man, mm. you probably won't know you've got breath that could stop a donkey. <laughs> just saying. So maybe get someone else to check for you. Anyway, the last thing I'm going to do on this whole thing is a bit of kissing etiquette. <laughs> this, this is business kissing etiquette, not sex yes, etiquette, yes. just business. So when we go to kiss somebody, there's that whole thing. Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Is it with tongues? <laughs> <laughs> the perfect kiss when you meet somebody in a business environment is you just want to... Actually, we'll see what it does first, shall we? Should we just get into it first? Come on, Alfie, kiss me! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, a bit too much. That was a bit too much, actually. <laughs> it was nice, though. What you're aiming for. Look at the hands and his legs are going. Oh. Do you know what happens? Whenever I say to a man, I can always tell when a man's lying. They go, Can you? And I go, Yes, I can. You just crossed your legs. Have I? Now you're wringing your hands. Am I? What are you going to do with those hands? <laughs> So what we want to be able to do is just go into someone and we just gently, what is with this? What is with this? <laughs> Keep your hands down. Yeah. Keep your hands down. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> just come a little bit closer. Oh, that's oh, nice. That. Two cheeks. Mm, yeah. two. two is a really good way. I do that. I shout one or two or I tell them what I'm doing. But that was perfect. What we want is a little clash either side. Just a gentle touch. No. Mm. We don't want to deafen someone when we go in. And then we have perfected the perfect kiss. So we've got there a whole thing on a kissing thing. Now, obviously, I have a company that codes now. I'm going to wiggle this on really, really quickly. We are going to build an algorithm. This is just telling you how clever we are and how much we do. Uh, move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. I've got one minute left. Come on. Move, move. These are all the fancy places I've been, all the fun stuff I do. Um, Right, we're going to build an algorithm. An algorithm is just a sequence of events. You're going to leave today knowing how to code. And you've all got to do it together, and you've got to do it too. So the first thing we're going to do is eye contact. Eye contact, everyone. Eye contact. Eye contact. Oh, you beat me to the flash. <laughs> now I'd like you to flash the person next to you. <laughs> now let's have a bit of a smile. Now we've got to get our proximity right. Which, oh, yeah. how, how close can you come? Oh, <laughs> bit of intentional touching. Let's have a kiss. And that's floating in a nutshell. Thank you very much, everyone. You've been a star, Alvin.